finally, everything finally lined up so I could get out on a bikepacking trip. For the past several weeks, either the weather was perfect, but my work required me to be there, or if I was free, then the weather wouldn't cooperate. But today, everything lined up just right. While I've been on a few different bikepacking trips and have plans for many more, this would be a simple out and back one-nighter. Nothing too daunting, nothing too difficult, and even though we have lots of primitive campsites in the beautiful Blackwater Forest, I wanted to do something a little bit different for this adventure. Something more like an appetizer for more. Well, so far so good. The trip has gone real smooth, but now we've come to the one part that I'm not looking forward to and I don't like. It's the part that Andrea doesn't like either. As you can see, I've got to go up this right here for a few miles to get off the main road again, but it's the only way I can connect over to where I'm going. So I have my little red blinky light on. This is why I wear a mirror so I can keep an eye on what's going on. I do have a little bit of a shoulder, as you can see, but I'm ready to bail off of it any time if anybody gets a little too close. So here we go. Okay, Andrea, you can stop worrying. I, I made it off of the highway. Uh, it was a relatively uneventful ride, a couple of miles there. Anybody that went by me, they gave me plenty of room. And uh, you know, this, this road, cyclists ride all the time. Uh, our neighbor rides it and several other cyclists in the area. It's got a nice wide shoulder, but it's still not my favorite and I'm glad it's over. I'm now back on these country roads. That should be what I have the rest of the time. I'm almost there. So far, so good. That wind, though, coming up a hill and into the wind, that was a challenge. That's why we do it. Time to move on. So my plan was to leave from my house and travel along some residential streets and back roads, making my way out to just where the Blackwater Forest begins, to a campground beside Coldwater Creek at an outdoor center called Adventures Unlimited.
Wow. Well, it's been a great day. What a beautiful ride. It's been beautiful weather. Uh, according to my Wahoo, I went uh, right at 21 miles, almost two hours of ride time. And it was a lovely ride on a absolutely beautiful day. It's perfect weather. Uh, this is the reason I wanted to get out and, and, and go camping. And some of you might be wondering, why did I come to a paid campground like this? This is kind of like a kind of like a KOA or something. This is a, an area that's out in the Blackwater Forest that is a place where you can come and you can go ride, you can rent canoes and go on canoe rides and zip lining and all kinds of things. That's why it's called Adventures Unlimited. And of course they have camping here. And there are several reasons that I came here today is one, it, well, it was easy to get to. It's uh, 21 miles from my house, and so I was able to leave from my house and come to a campground. But the number one reason that I came here is because it's hunting season, and I love the Blackwater Forest, and I also know how many hunters we have here. And I'm, I'm a hunter myself, and so I know how excited people can get when it comes to hunting and muzzle loader season just opened up and so I just didn't want to be a moving target anywhere in the vicinity of any of those those muzzle loaders and so I decided just to come here and it was just easy and everything worked out and I'm excited You know, there's just something magical about mornings at camp. Waking up and crawling out of your tent and into the cool, crisp air. The smell of the forest all around you and camp coffee is the absolute best as you watch the sunbeams peeking through the branches and listen to birds waking up and celebrating a new day. It's, it's all, well, just so satisfying. Recently, I was watching Bikepacking.com on YouTube, and I really like what Neil Belchenko said. He said, Bikepacking is whatever you want to make it. Whether it's a two-mile overnighter or a world tour, you're doing it right if you just get out and do it. Well, I couldn't agree more. My first solo bikepacking trip was the perfect recharge that I needed. It brought me back to center, and now I can't wait to do it again.